So what if I made it fast? Hi, I'm Ash. Welcome back to my channel. Final Fantasy VII Remake is here. I'm excited. So of course, I gotta make a remix of it. Nobuo Uematsu is one of my favorite composers. His music has inspired so much of my own songs. I could make something real, something raw, something emotional. Let's screw that. Today we're making dubstep. One Winged Angel. Dubstep remix. Let's go. Intro. Let's be real here. It's dubstep. Everybody's going to be skipping to the drop. The DJ is going to be mixing it in from the build up. So we'll just skip it. I mean, unless it's something that's pretty recognizable. So let's just put One Winged Angel in there. And for the build up, eh, I'm lazy. Let's just do. Shout out to the excellent guys. Just pre made one here. And then we'll just repeat the. I need a pre-drop sample. Yeah. All right, let's get to the drop. We need to look up the key of One Winged Angel. This one's in D minor. So when making dubstep, you want to choose a key between E and G for maximum bass impact. So we need to go up two semitones to get to E. Just a really slight change in order for the drop to work. So I need a drop pattern now and some sound. See, when I was a uh, young baby producer starting out, I would open up my synth and I would spend hours and hours just tweaking knobs and like trying to get it right. Just perfect for the song I was working on. But we don't do that anymore. Nowadays, I just make all the sounds beforehand. I'll literally open up an Ableton session and just spend it designing sound. Anything that sounds cool. I record it, I save the preset, and then that way I have a giant bank of sounds that I can choose from. And then there's no pressure as well to get it to fit exactly with the song right away. We're not wasting time. We're here to make bangers. And actually, we want to get our ideas out as quickly as possible. So try to doing the sound design before you even make a song. So I'm gonna pick all right those are cool i'm gonna put those in there and i'm just gonna make a quick little rhythm that one in first perfect let's go over rhythm theory for a second here what i like to do is i like to do a constant rhythm something that just goes on the beat and then contrast it with the main riff when you have the main riff you can syncopate it and like get it off beat a little bit like But if you keep a constant rhythm going, it makes it 10 times groovier. Wait a second. Did I just make Behemoth by Sudden Death? Well, nothing's ever original anyway, so let's just keep going. And then for the processing on this, good old OTT to give it some squash. Sidechain here so that I can make room for kick and sub EQing out all the harsh frequencies. What I also like to do is put a utility and make sure that it's mono because you want the bases always center panned. Hold up, hang on, samples, where do you get those? Well, friend, you're in luck because I've got my brand new bass sample pack, Ash's certified bass banger sample pack available. Keep watching to the end of the video and I will show you exactly how to get your own. Now, I need some drum rack as per usual. I'm gonna grab a thicky, clicky, kick. I'm just gonna EQ out all the lows to make room for the sub, and then a thick snare, you know, like with at least 12 Cs. Oh, baby. Boost that midsection here to give it a bit more thickness. Add like three more Cs to that. For the drum pattern, this is what we're looking at here. Kick on every single beat, snare on every other beat, and then I add a clap as well. I layer that, but move it ever so slightly to the left here so that we get that slappa effect crashes because we're heavy AF and a few little hi-hats to spice it up and that's dubstep sounding good sounding good we just need a sub so it's gonna make those rail riders go insane dubstep is all about the bass the sub is where all the bass is coming from one lonely little sine wave i'm gonna add some distortion here turn the drive up just to give it that buzz and then a noise oscillator as well next we saturate it erosion i'm gonna side chain it if you're listening on good speakers your house is probably shaking by now apologize to your neighbors for me you want to eq it at the key of the song so in our case is E, and you just want to match it with the drop rhythm. 
now I can't I can't keep that same rhythm going. So what if I made it fast? Woo! Just a few little details. We're just gonna add fills. A little string sample on the offbeat. A cool little alarm sound. Ooh, and I need to sample Costa de Sol. And there we have it. We did it. Dub step. Dub step. So I'll be playing the full version of the remix in just a minute. In summary, when you have the sounds already made, you can come up with your ideas super quickly. So if you need sounds, I got you. I'm presenting to you my very first Asha certified bass banger sample pack. It's available for you right now for the low, low price of... Now get that out of here. It's free. We're free. I'm giving it away. Now why am I doing this? I want you to see how easy it is to get your song ideas out quickly and these samples are gonna fast track you to that. Feel free to like, subscribe, smash that bell icon. It really helps my channel out. And if you want to see more content from me, be sure to follow me on all of my socials. Just whoop right over there and if there's anything else you want me to cover blow up the comments below just let me know and as always thank you so much for watching see you next time